Hello, so in this lab, we will be talking about Cloudberry Explorer. So Cloudberry Explorer is a client application which can be installed on your operating system and it can be used to interact with various object based storage like Amazon S3, Google Cloud Storage or Azure Blob Storage. Okay, so in this lab, what we would be doing is we would be using Cloudberry Explorer, we would be treating Cloudberry Explorer as a client application, right, or as an application which would be using service account, okay google cloud iam service account and using that service account it should be able to access my google cloud storage okay so i've already downloaded the uh, cloudberry explorer on my machine all right and it is over here okay now i'll configure cloudberry explorer to give uh, basically give uh, i'll configure cloudberry explorer to basically use the service account and access my google cloud storage now cloudberry explorer gives you a very nice interface where you can drag and drop stuff once your google cloud storage is configured so let's get started with it i'll say new storage account and over here i'll select google cloud storage and i'll give the display name as the magic dot zero one or one and over here i'll give the option as service account so we would be using service account for authentication and authorization now it is asking me service account mail id so we'll for that we will need to create a service account so i'll go to identity and access management and under access identity and access management i'll select service account and i'll say create a service account and i'll name the service account as cloudberry service account and i'll say continue then it will ask for the roles so roles basically defines the permission and we want to give permission to access google cloud storage so i'll give an storage admin permission to this service account and that's it so this creates a service account let's do it one more time that's it so it's created and this is your service account email id so let's copy this paste it over here now it is asking for your project id which you can get by clicking on the project name and this is the project id and next it is asking for a private key okay so this private key would be generated inside your service account under keys and i'll create a json key so the key is downloaded now i'll go back and upload the key over here and i'll click on test connection so the cloudberry explorer is basically able to authenticate and authorize itself so it says connection successful I'll say okay and i'll say close now over here in this drop down if i select my account name it will show all the list of buckets inside my account okay i can even create a bucket if i want to so if i click on create bucket I can do that very easily so let's name this bucket as gcs 0601 and this creates a new bucket for me and now inside this bucket i can upload whatever i like so let's upload this file chart.png so it gives you a drag and drop interface you can select multiple files as well and you can drag and drop very easily over here and it will upload all the files let's upload a folder as well There we go the folder is uploaded now if i go to my google cloud console and if i go inside storage account sorry uh google cloud storage then inside google cloud storage i'll find a new bucket and inside this bucket i'll find a file which i uploaded as well as the, as well as the folder and all the files within those folders okay so in this lab we basically learn how to use service account all right how service account can be consumed by any application it could be a client application or it could be a web based application right and using the service account how you can access google cloud services this is it for this lab thank you for watching